This is Math 151. Uh, we're in Section 2.3, and we're going to look at number 14. <clears throat> so we are asked to find the limit as x approaches negative 1 of this function. Let's plug in negative 1 and see what happens. So uh, if I plug it in, I get negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1. I'm just trying direct substitution to see if it works. Negative 1 squared minus 3 times negative 1 minus 4. So this bottom's a 0. This top is uh, 1 plus 4, 5. 5 divided by 0. So I can't divide by 0. Let me try and factor and see what happens. I'll stay this color. So limit as x approaches negative 1 of uh, x times x minus 4. Just factored an x out of these. And then on these ones, I can um, factor this. Uh, things that multiply to negative 4 add to negative 3 would be uh, negative 4 and positive 1. All right, that seems to work. So, let's see, this would be uh, x plus 1 times x minus 4. Divide those out. And notice I get a limit as x approaches negative 1 of x over x plus 1. And if I try to plug that negative 1 in, notice um, I get negative 1 over 0. I get this indeterminate form again. So this factoring didn't actually do anything for me. Um, I suspect it doesn't exist. Let me let me see if I can confirm that on my on my calculator. So uh, I'm going to enter in that equation. Let's see what I got. X squared uh, minus four x. We'll close off those parentheses. Divide by that denominator, which was uh, x squared minus three x. Uh, minus 4. And if I just look at the graph, remember I was trying to find the limit. Um, I was looking for the limit as x approaches negative 1. And you can see at negative 1 here, this diverges, right? Left-hand limit goes to infinity. Right-hand limit goes to negative infinity. So that tells me that this limit does not exist. 